Andil in Argentina. Supposedly one of the most beautiful towns in Argentina, and I'd have to agree. I'm just following the train tracks now. If you've watched my other videos before, you'll know that I have a great affinity for trains and for train tracks. We visited the train cemetery in Bolivia and they gave me a nice rich sense of nostalgia. In this video we're just going to follow these train tracks and see where they go. I think one of the great things about abandoned train tracks is that they're so deeply ingrained in our sense of popular culture. If you watch TV shows like The Walking Dead, they always seem to be following the train tracks, not exactly knowing where they're going to. In the film Stand By Me, with River Phoenix and Keith Sutherland, the kids follow the train tracks in search of the dead body. In that case, it's not really the destination that's unknown, but the result of the narrative. The result of the plot. There he is! I see him! Look! Look over there! I see him! I see him! What's also interesting is the way that a lot of language about train tracks has shaped the way that we speak in English. For example, if somebody is from the wrong side of the tracks, maybe they are disadvantaged or poor. If we say that somebody has a one track mind, it means they can only think about one thing, usually sex. If somebody goes off the rails, it means they've gone crazy. It's almost paternal in a sense because the train tracks, they literally give us direction. I know most of you know me as Bryn, but in fact, my full name is Brendan Stevenson Connell. A lot of people are curious about why my middle name is Stevenson. If you look on the rear side of a British five pound note, you'll find a picture of a fella called George Stevenson. He was the fella that invented the rocket, the first steam powered locomotive train. And if you believe my dad, he's some kind of distant ancestor of mine. Maybe the railroads are in my blood a little bit. The other funny thing is that there's actually a lot of reminders of home here. Yeah. I'm in Argentina, on the other side of the planet from my homeland, and yet through this infrastructure of railroads, a lot of which were built in England a long, long time ago, I get this sense of home. Maybe that's why I feel at home on the railroads. Maybe I should become a hobo. The littlest hobo. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So if you want to join me for a while, just grab your hat and jump on board. That's hobo style. Maybe tomorrow, I want to settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, I used to love that dog. Well, I've literally reached the end of the line now. I'm sitting on top of this really old steam locomotive, which has just been left here to die. It's kind of falling apart a little bit. It's a bit sad, really. It was probably made in England as well. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more train related videos like this, check out my other train videos as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you look in the banner at the top, you can see that there's a link to my Patreon account.
where you can leave one or two dollars to get exclusive Burbex merchandise like the Burbex wristband. Oh, everybody wants one of those. That's it for this episode. I'll see you again next time. Let's go. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, it's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again